viewers welcome to radio metro mail you are watching catch up as you know that in catch up we invite people those who have interest in politics or those who are actively engaged in politics today we have a very special guest with us uh, if you have anything in your mind if you like to hear from our politicians uh, or the people those who are actively engaged in politics let us know we'll try to bring them in our show if you want us to discuss any important issue that uh, you would like to hear let us know we'll try to cover that as well today we have a very special guest with us faiz kamal kamal is running an election federal election and his riding is scarborough center so welcome you to our studio faiz thank you mao thanks so, for having me assalamu alaikum uh, greetings to everybody my name is faiz kamal and uh, i am the new federal ndp candidate from scarborough center so we'll be talking about many other issues including our social issues uh, our problems and your you know campaign so let's start with your campaign how is your campaign going well uh, unfortunately uh, our campaign uh, we started a little bit later than some of the other parties uh, however we're we're trying our best uh, we have a, we have a lot of volunteers on the campaign uh, donations are coming in our website is now up and running it's faizkamal.com that's f a i z k a m a l.com you can go there to uh, see what's happening in the campaign and also uh, sign up to volunteer or donate thank you would you mind giving us some idea to our audience about yourself and the riding you are representing i mean scarborough center uh yes so i immigrated to uh, canada with my family uh, 19 years ago and i grew up in uh, scarborough and went to university in waterloo and uh, i i always had a passion for trying to be involved in uh, social activities and trying to help the community in whatever way i can and uh, growing up uh, i seen uh, scarborough center scarborough in particular uh, has a lot of uh, a lot of poverty a lot of thriving people a lot of people who are um, working very hard to prove themselves in a new country and uh, i i seen a lot of people struggle a lot harder than they should and i felt that it it is my responsibility to try to help new people in the country and existing people who are struggling have better opportunities here thank you thank you very much so being a immigrant family member you know you said that you have immigrated immigrated to this country 19 years ago so how did you uh, get into the politics or the political process you got involved with the this is the first time you are running an election or correct this is the first time i'm running an election um i got involved in uh, school when i was studying international development and uh from there i i wanted to get into politics um uh, dolly begum was uh was uh, in the same high school with me and when she was running her campaign uh she had reached out to ask for some help with volunteering and i was pleased to help her and worked on that campaign for about 6 months we had a great time and uh we were very proud to uh see one of our own uh be elected in queens park so uh from there um my my ambition grew and um i decided to take a step in politics myself you know that's great so you started with uh, volunteering with the ndp and then finally you got the nomination from ndp correct this is how okay so since you are representing or you are uh, you know your riding is scarborough center mm-hmm. so do you have any idea or whether you have identified identified any problem or issues uh, that needs to be taken care of in yes. this riding yes there's this tons of issues in uh, scarborough center uh the housing in scarborough center is uh, very unaffordable to many families people are uh, uh, people are sharing uh, cramped spaces and um uh, our healthcare system definitely needs more improvements in Scarborough Center um our we don't have enough resource allocation the jobs in Scarborough Center uh paid about 30% less than the rest of Ontario even though the people in uh, Scarborough Center are equally qualified and uh so these are some of the issues that I I plan to tackle if if elected so in Canada we see that uh, there are too many people they are falling through the crack of our uh, social safety net programs mm-hmm. so how do you or your party would like to address those issues or how you want to fix that well you know i wanted to take a second to um, kind of uh, uh, give a little bit of history of ndp values i'm not sure but i feel like a lot of uh, bangladeshi canadians are very supportive of liberals for mm. for their own reasons and uh, a lot of them don't realize that ndp has brought forward a lot of values that we are we are 
We are appreciating every day as Bengalis. Uh, NDP was the party that had introduced universal health care. And, uh, and without health care in this country, we, a lot of us immigrants, who earn minimum wage or maybe a little bit more, we would never be able to go to the doctors if it wasn't for this health care system. So we would have been able to come into this country but not be able to see a doctor when we got sick. And we, I think we take that for granted. And I think a lot of Bengalis are not aware that NDP was the per NDP was the party that brought that those values forward. I think in the Scarborough Center, we see that uh, there are a lot of low income people are many people are in you know right. in poverty level. So how do you like to address those things that you know how we because we definitely need to address that you know yes, poverty yes. thing. So um, I work in the tech industry. I am a business operation analyst at IBM and and. I know that we are seeing a lot of tech jobs in Toronto. We are seeing more tech jobs in Toronto than San Francisco and New York City combined. And these tech jobs are not coming into Scarborough. They are going into Richmond Hill, they're going into downtown, they're going into Markham, Mississauga, and surrounding areas. But I want to be, I want to see these jobs come to Scarborough and Scarborough Center in particular. And I feel having more qualified jobs, uh, more high paying jobs in Scarborough Center will, will, um, will have people not travel so far from home, traffic congestions will be better um, in every way. The quality of life for people in Scarborough Center would benefit from it. Thank you. Thank you very much. So in Canada, we live in a multicultural environment, particularly, you know, in Toronto and even your riding, your neighbor ridings, Scarborough Southwest, Scarborough Center. So there are people from different, you know, background, different ethnicity. So what are the values uh, you would like to promote in your political career to address that multicultural issues? So um, that's a very good question. And uh, I think I, I don't think I need to promote those values. I think we are practicing those values in Scarborough Center and those values are tolerance. Scarborough Center is a very diverse area where we're seeing uh, new immigrants from different countries and every day we're hearing uh, people's journeys that are very different from everybody else. People from Sri Lanka, people from, uh, people from Bangladesh, people from all over Africa. So we're, we're hearing different stories from uh, different cultural backgrounds. So I think we're already practicing uh, great, great tolerance in Scarborough Center, which uh, I think most Canadians take pride in. Thank, thank you very much, Faiz. Viewers, you are watching Catch Up and we are talking to Faiz Kamal. Faiz is running an election, federal election. Uh, Faiz, uh, now I'd like to ask you a little bit of weird question that say for example, and we wish that if you are elected, what would be your priority? What would be, uh, you know, what you would like to do for the first year? This is the first part of the question. And the second part is, if you are not elected, what would be your plan for the community work? So if I was to be elected, my plan would be to fight to bring better resource allocation to Scarborough Center, where I feel like it's needed. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of families in Scarborough Center that are not uh, getting their fair share of government services. And uh, we are definitely lacking good paying jobs and benefits in Scarborough Center. So my, my focus in the first year would be that, and to, um, and to try to implement new sustainable practices that we can benefit, uh, the, the environment can benefit from. And um, I would like to see us work together as a community for our environment as well. And uh, the second part of your question is uh, how I plan to continue my uh, social efforts. So from, from uh, my, my last two years, um, I'm sitting on the Riding Association as an executive for NDP in Scarborough. And uh, we're always uh, working to uh, grow our party, and uh, and and I mean, shabai ke encourage to to uh, encourage young people. Shabar shabat chile me jara jara from even from maybe 12, baro bachor theke jara 25 bachor pojonto jara kub young. Oder oder ke encourage to uh, to volunteer and to be uh, to take part in parties and understand how politics in Canada works because uh, the more youth that gets involved in politics, the more, uh, the better solutions we'll have for our future. And, uh, and I feel like uh, we have a lot of Bengalis in Canada and we've been here for uh, maybe 25 years or so, a, a lot of us, and it's time for us to uh, take action in our community and contribute to the policies that take effect in Canada. Thank you, Faiz. I was about to ask you, my second question was about if you have anything to share for our youth. Already you have, you know. Correct, yes. Yeah. 
So apart from that, do you have any specific message to our youth? Sure. Uh, aside from that, not to the youth, but uh, to all the Bengali viewers. Uh, so, Jara Apnera Shabai Dekhte Sen, thank you. I am very appreciate Kulam Jai Apnera Ma Kota Shunlen. Imam, thank you. I am here to come here. And we are Bengali Shabai Majan Modda Onek separated Thaki. Kintu, we are going to be able to do this. We are going to be able to look after each other. And আমার মনে হয় যে যেভাবে আপনারা পারেন যারা এখানে এখন এসে এখন এসে যারা একটু সেটেল হয়ে গেছেন যেভাবেই পারেন কমিটির জন্য একটু হেল্প করেন যদি মসজিদেও মসজিদে একটা বানানোর জন্য হেল্প করতে পারেন করেন যদি একটা পার্টিতে ভলান্টিয়ার করেন ওটা অনেক ভালো যদি প্রমোট করেন ওটা ভালো ডোনেট করলেও ভালো কিন্তু কিন্তু টেক পার্ট টেক পার্ট ইন দ্য কমিউনিটি অ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড ট্রাই ইউর বেস্ট টু লিভ আ বেটার লেগেসি for our uh, for our community and for our nationality the last question so our radio channel the radio metro mail is mostly our viewers our listeners they are bangladeshi canadian or canadian bangladeshi so do you have any specific message and your writing is also i think a big chunk of people they are from you know bangladeshi canadian mm -hmm. so do you have any specific message to our audience আমি সবাইকে বলতে চাচ্ছি যে ইমাম থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ফর হ্যাভিং মি সবাইকে থ্যাংক ইউ যে আমাকে আমার কথা শুনলেন আপনারা সবাইকে বলতে চাচ্ছি যে যারা আমরা এখানে অনেক বছর হয়ে গেছি বাঙালি চলে এখানে এসে আছি আর ফর্চুনেটলি আমরা সেটেল হয়ে গেছি এখন আমরা আমাদের ছেলেমেয়েরা ভালো ইউনিভার্সিটিতে যাচ্ছে অ্যান্ড স্ট্যান্ডিং অন দেয়ার ওন অ্যান্ড উই আর কমফর্টেবল ইন দিস কান্ট্রি অ্যান্ড এখন হচ্ছে সময় যে আমরা আমাদের কমিটির জন্য কিছু করি এখন এই কমিটির জন্য আমরা মসজিদও বানাতে পারি আমরা হোম সেটারও ভলান্টিয়ার করতে পারি আমরা পলিটিক্যাল পার্টিতেও ভলান্টিয়ার করতে পারি আমরা ডোনেটও করতে পারি কিন্তু যেভাবেই হোক এটা আমাদের এখন রেসপন্সিবিলিটি এখানে এসে আমাদেরকে এখন কমিউনিটিতে হেল্প করা পার্টিক করা সো আই এনকারেজ এভরি ওয়ান ইন দ্য বেঙ্গলি কমিউনিটি টু গেট ইনভলভ ইন আওয়ার কমিউনিটি গেট ইনভলভ ইন পলিটিক্স অ্যান্ড স্পেশালি টু এনকারেজ দেয়ার ইয়ঙ্গার জেনারেশন অ্যান্ড দেয়ার চিলড্রেন টু টেক পার্ট ইন পলিটিক্স অ্যান্ড দ্য কমিউনিটি ধন্যবাদ ফয়েজ শুধু দর্শক এর আগে আমরা এই ক্যানাডাতেই আমরা ইতিহাস তৈরি করেছি এবং সেই ইতিহাস তৈরি করবার পেছনের যে গল্পটি ছিল সেটি হচ্ছে আমাদের সমন্বিত উদ্যোগ আমরা যদি সবাই একসঙ্গে কাজ করি আমরা যদি সবাই যেটি ফয়েজ বলেছে এবার ফয়েজ ফেডারেল ইলেকশান করছে এবং স্কারবোরো সেন্টার থেকে করেছে এর আগে প্রভিন্সিয়াল ইলেকশানে পাশের যে রাইডিং স্কারবোরো সাউথওয়েজ সেখানে ইতিহাস তৈরি করেছি আমরা বাঙালিরা আমরা আশা করব এবারও আমরা সবাই ফায়েজ কামালের জন্য কাজ করব ফায়েজ কামালকে বিজয়ী করব আমাদের বাংলাদেশিদেরকে রিপ্রেজেন্ট করবার ক্ষেত্রে ফায়েজ কামাল আরও এগিয়ে যাবে তার জন্য শুভাশিস জানিয়ে আমরা আজকে অনুষ্ঠান শেষ করব আপনারা যেই যেখান থেকে আমাদেরকে শুনছেন দেখছেন সবাইকে শুভেচ্ছা জানিয়ে আমরা আমাদের অনুষ্ঠান আজকে শেষ করছি আগামী অনুষ্ঠানে আমরা অন্য কোনো অতিথিকে আপনাদের সামনে নিয়ে আসব সে পর্যন্ত সবাই ভালো থাকবেন সুস্থ থাকবেন সবাইকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ফায়েজ থ্যাংকস ফর হ্যাভিং ধন্যবাদ সবার জন্য